I had a situation in 1997 that led me to counseling. My mother was killed by a drunk driver on my birthday. And I've been doing counseling for many, many years, but I knew this was something different. I, I had an, an accident while I was hiking. It resulted in a total body injury and then the crushing of my hip. And unfortunately, I had many surgeons who didn't listen to my other problems. They just wanted to focus on the hip. And it took five months to finally get somebody else to listen to me. And by that time, I was so extremely physically sick from the pain that my mind had been poisoned. I felt the only way out was to end my life. I was at the end of my rope with no hope. And I, I just couldn't think of any other thing except to just end it all. At the time of my accident, I was self-employed. I've always been self-employed and I immediately lost my business, my job, all my clients. And so the sliding scale was a big decisional factor. I remember the what she what she said was at Refuge Center, we're more concerned about helping you than you paying us. So I come to my first appointment, and at that point of my medical nightmare, I'd been sick so long with the failed surgery. I sit down across from this guy, and he had these really crazy looking glasses on, and they had this little thing on the side, and it keeps talking to him. And then he had a German Shepherd right next to him. He said, so tell me a little bit about yourself and, you know, well, why are you here today? So I started telling him, which immediately brings the tears and the emotions. And he very quietly and patiently listened to me. He did not bombard me with why this, why that, where this, how that. He literally listened to me until I finished talking. And that was such a new experience for me. And at that point, I had the strength to ask my counselor if I could be so personal. Can I, you know, the glasses, the seeing eye dog, what happened? And he went, went on to tell me his story briefly. And I know he was brief that day. He wasn't looking at the clock. He was brief because he knew I was so deep into my pain. All he needed to do was to tell me briefly, well, Carla Joe, I tried to commit suicide and it didn't go so well. Refuge Center and God put in front of my face the very reason why my thought process was 100% wrong. I was going to make a permanent decision over a temporary problem. The things that swirl and, and repetitively roll in your mind, it's not that you can control them, but there are ways to process them differently. And it has been like going from a dark room to outside in the sunshine, to have these tools, to have hope. They have taught me to love myself just like I am every day. I always have hope that tomorrow's gonna be better. And I never had that before. Hope grows at Refuge Center because it's accessible to everybody. They truly care. There's always hope when you come to Refuge Center, always.